The Navistar 5000 MV missed out on my top 10 best trucks in SnowRunner Showdown. But does that mean it's bad? It's time to investigate. Before the SnowRunner community erupted like Krakatoa at the idea of paid DLC content, despite the existence of the Season Pass, there was already a truck you could buy for real money. Unless you play on PC, in which case blame Epic. This truck is called the Navistar 5000 MV, aka the Naughty Star, and is £1.69 of flawed brilliance. For you see, this is a truck that should not laugh at off-road terrain because it's designed to transport tanks across desert. But it does. Despite bars on the windows and mesh on the windscreen, the real-life Navistar is said to offer outstanding visibility. In the same way, concrete beds offer outstanding comfort, presumably, but then both do add to the rugged military look. Then there's the AK-12 engine, which sounds like a gun and whirs into life with a beep, a pause, and then a spot of thunder. Good news is that it goes as well as it sounds. If you want speed and torque, this is one of the best trucks in SnowRunner. Honestly, no matter the hill or terrain, the Navistar 5000 MV will usually find a way to win with firepower, especially when fitted with and using the high range gear, off-road tires and raised suspension. Point and shoot, that's usually how it goes with this smoky beast. But this magnificent performance comes at a cost. Get a little stuck and the Navistar 5000 MV will drink enough fuel to drain the planet in a day. Pull a trailer and, well, let's just say you never look up because you'll watch a hole in the ozone layer open. This makes it a truck that gets the adrenaline going because you can make journeys in relatively fast fashion, yet that fear of getting stranded is ever present. Few other trucks are as exciting to drive. Unless you're on PC, in which case I'm unsure why you're still here. Customization is, however, where the Navistar 5000 MV loses points. It's not as limited as some trucks, admittedly, but then this is not the truck for support unless you want to lug a trailer behind you, which means a range of about 3 meters. However, you can have a spare wheel behind the cab, a series of needlessly tall snorkels, one of which practically comes into the cabin, and a crane, saddle high or saddle low add-ons. Sadly, a saddle and crane combination is out of the question, but normal trailers are also towable. You could even have the zero visibility side windows and mesh windscreen to protect you from all that gunfire the world of SnowRunner is so rampant with. You can even blend in with nature using one of a few different camo paint jobs. There are also three very unforgiving front bumpers where pedestrian safety is concerned. I mean, no truck is going to feel good if you step out in front of it, but those metal bars really will mince you. Driving the Navistar 5000 MV is thankfully a less painful experience than being hit by one. In fact, for what appears to be a wide and thin truck with wide and thin 44 or 48 inch tires, it refuses to tip over that easily, even when using the raised suspension option. Said tyres, the off-road being my pick for SnowRunner because mud, do a fine job of providing traction, although the really slippery stuff results in a lot of wheel spin. Not a lot of movement, but definitely a lot of fuel drinking. At its core, this is a truck for hauling and scouting in short bursts. And SnowRunner is a game about hauling and scouting, so it's worth considering. Unless you're on PC, seriously, let it go. Out of all the DLC trucks so far, I would say it's the most fun. But the Western Star 49X is noticeably more versatile. Suffice to say, the Navistar 5000 MV is one of the most enthralling trucks in SnowRunner. It's the nuclear button solution to any delivery problem, and that's why it's on the tribe fleet. And here ends the truck review. I hope you enjoyed it. Now it's time for something I've not done in a while. The best recent comments. Well, there haven't been any, so I shall see you in the next video. Just messing. PlayStation better than Xbox. Thanks, Seven Moon, for stirring the console debate pot. I think people are inherently tribal, and consoles are another avenue for that to show. To be honest, if you can afford both consoles and a PC, you care less because all have their strengths and weaknesses. Lots of people correcting the pronunciation of the word beta. In English, we say beta, that's just how it is. Don't shoot the messenger. 
Over on the official Tribe Discord, my lovely members have decided to play my videos on the music jukebox. Great A trolling right there. Isn't that jacket Nico Bellix from Grand Theft Auto 4? It does look like it. I should probably give it back as he's not exactly Mr. Friendly. Bro, that sofa is gross, lol. No, you're gross. Yeah, teal is perhaps not to everyone's tastes, but you're somewhat limited in the sofa bed world and it matches my green office. So, shh. I should also address the fact many of you absolutely loved my singing. Hayden Pilchard said that note was impressive. I think he mistakenly used the laughing smiley instead of one for admiration of my incredible talent. We all make mistakes. Some of you also noticed my Xbox Series X box was damaged. Alfie Boy 18 said, box is a bit bashed about. Maybe the delivery van did crash. Laughing emoji this time. You think my suffering is funny, do you? Yeah? Presumably the driver chucked it out the window without stopping, but I'll never know. On a similar note, Karmic Force 01 added, apparently they are shipping your Xbox Series X through Amandra. Yes, in the Don 71, judging by the box and lateness. Stuart Leckie, another veteran of the channel, commented, My Series S arrived yesterday. Now my wife is thinking we should give it to my son for his Christmas. So it's staying in the box until he proves he deserves it or not. I guess, Stuart, you're hoping he doesn't deserve it, so you can have it for yourself. Although, technically, giving it to your son means it's yours anyway. To be honest, Santa is watching all of you. So no misbehaving. Do you really want coal again? And finally, Project 337, a master of a tribe called Cars Variation Names, said, Time to donate to a tribe called Crisps. What a YouTube channel that would be. On a related note, I'm sorry to disappoint all of you who actually searched for a tribe called Carbs. I should do a cooking video though, I make... I also... <laughs> awesome flap. <laughs> That's a channel name as well. I also put a gold wrap on my Xbox Series X because Christmas. Gonna get some love for that. And on that shiny and untasteful note, it's time to say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you in the next video. Subscribe, like, buy merch, and use the boostgaming.com link in the description if you need to top up your gaming credit. Take care, bye.